Thousand Band Fani from Atlanta, Stan, Georgia. Diamond shit, that was like my wave. It wasn't that long ago. That shit was like 2013 when I dropped that shit. And then I made a video for it. And it's it's a lot of old shit niggas might find. Like it's all types of old shit. Like I see fans, it's really a lot. I got more fan videos than I got official videos and shit. I think it's cool that niggas actually just be going the extra mile just to motherfucking show niggas my shit. I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm winging the fuck out this shit. I don't know how half this shit even possible, bro. I'm, I'm in the field hard as fuck right now on some real independent shit. Like, no manager shit going on, just, just me, you feel me? And the people, the people who fucking with me heavy, you feel me, trying to build a foundation. Niggas who really know my music know that I got, it's nothing, it, I don't like that limitation shit. I don't got no limits to my shit. I'll probably hump, I could, I could hop on a, co a country track and probably fuck that shit up, come clean. Like, I wanna work with people who, who wanna work with me for real, you feel me? I wanna, I'm, I'm working with everybody, you feel me? I feel like I could work with anybody. Like, I just did a song with Lil Peep, you feel me? I love Lil Peep music. I thought that nigga was gay, but I love this nigga music, bro. Like, Lil Peep make great music, you feel me? If niggas think I need a gimmick or an image or dye my hair or I don't know, I don't need none of that. I just, just on some real nigga shit, just be myself and shit. I'll be all right. I think that really when you just do you and you focused on you, everybody kind of want a piece of the cake, get involved. Like, it don't really matter what you do. I don't gotta, it's like, I make music, you know, I turn people up, I get shit popping. But even if I was a motherfucking, uh, Rocket scientists, you feel me, getting guap, flexed up on the ground in the lab or some shit, pull up in the lamb, bitch is still gonna be trying to be like, damn, where you at? What you doing? You feel me? Regardless, like, when you want better for yourself and you just trying to better yourself, niggas always want a piece of that shit, you feel me? This, this could go a lot of different ways. It depend on who there sometimes, it depend on what the fuck we drinking, it depend on what we smoking, depend on what the fuck happened that day already sometimes, you feel me? Cause I could have had an interesting ass day, that whole day, hit the studio that night, and then I'll make some crazy shit just about what happened that day, like some hoes, my partners, man, like just some crazy shit. But for the most part, bro, I just don't like no fuck niggas around me in the studio though, honestly. And niggas will book studio sessions thinking I'm cool with some niggas or some shit because of some internet shit, which be fucking shit up. And it don't throw the vibe off because my vibe ain't never throwed off, but niggas understand. If you listen to my music, you clearly sell, you know I be speaking real shit and niggas be getting offended. They'll be thinking I'm sneak dissing them when I'm recording, you feel me? I don't be sneak dissing. But if a nigga fuck nigga and he in my studio, he gonna hear me say, hey, this fuck nigga in my studio, why the fuck he in my studio on the mic? There ain't no sneak this. He right there, you feel me? Other than that, everything wavy is Gucci on 1000. I keep it 1000 while I show you, feel me? It's Atlanta stand just because that's how it is in Atlanta, like, just on some savage shit. It's hell niggas down there jugging finesse and some motherfucking. Niggas sliming their own partners down there, you feel me? It's niggas who don't give a fuck about their own family. Like, it's, it's motherfuckers who I grew up with who motherfucking tried to stab me in the back. Bitches I went to high school with, motherfucking hoes try to set you up and shit. You just gotta be aware of that shit, cautious of that shit. It's that land stand, bro. Cause that's, that's how it is. It's just a field. It's like a battlefield to me. As far as right now, people see it as black Mecca, black Hollywood and shit, but it's still Atlanta stand too. It's, it's mostly the young niggas who just on that wild shit. Everybody just want a little money in their pocket and shit like that. I, I, I'm not surprised that more niggas that's outside of my city fuck with my shit more than niggas in my own city, you feel me? Because niggas ain't, it's, I'm from Atlanta, you feel me? So I don't expect niggas to try and support me and shit and try to go out they, they way to make sure that I'm above and beyond, you feel me? I mean, if niggas want to do the pick, flick up shit, like, that's cool. I don't got a problem with that, but I'm not about to be like, yo, let's. <laughs>
taking pictures and shit. The fuck I look like. I mean, I'm not one of them antisocial. I don't fuck with people, people, bro. Like, I fuck with people. I think people stupid as fuck. I think niggas dumb as hell, but I fuck with people, you feel me? Like, I'm, I'm a low key people person, you feel me? I just want the best for everyone else. Like, especially the young niggas, cause the young niggas ain't really got no one to look up to, but niggas like us, which is fucked up. Cause I'm not trying to be no example for niggas, but at the same time, like, I, I'm not asking to be put in a position, but niggas kind of putting me in a position where, yeah, you know, niggas been looking up to me type shit, so. I don't wanna lead niggas the wrong way. Just keep speeding up, bro. I'm on go, bro. I'm just on go right now, bro. I'm on that vroom vroom shit for real, bro. Like, Hot Wheels shit. <laughs>